Hello guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov, I'm the digital artist and today I would like to share with you my workflow for my last client. Uh, I'm located in Atlanta, Georgia and uh, my client has a very beautiful apple farm, also he's producing um, organic apple juice. He asked me to take photos of his product, also he asked me to design a new label for his project. After we finished our project, he wanted to see um, a prototype of um, how his product will look after. I said, uh, sure, no problem at all. So let's start working on our project. I have opened my Dimension CC and in my library I have all assets um, ready um, for his project. I will click on my image I took a few days ago and I will be using this image as my background for today's project. Uh, Dimension CC will ask me uh, to apply few modifications if I would like to apply few modifications such as resize canvas to image aspect ratio, create environment light, match sunlight, match camera perspective, I will click OK. If I will need, I, will, I can um, adjust everything later on. So now I would like to adjust my horizont line. I will bring it down. And again, I can adjust my horizontal line later on as well. And I will switch to my models library. Today I will be using all default Dimension CC assets. So I will click on my square bottle. This is my first 3D object I would like to work with today. And using select and move tool, I will move my 3D object just like that. Using select and scale tool, I will um, um, make my bottle bigger just like that and also I will move my a uh, bottle maybe something like that don't worry about that my app my uh, bottle on top of my apple I will fix everything later on in Photoshop for now let's concentrate on our workflow in dimension CC so I have my bottle and now I would like to add my second 3d object I would like to add my food um, Patch. Using um, select and um, rotate tool, I will rotate my patch just like that. And using select and scale tool, I will um, make my patch smaller just like that. Now I will be use I will use select and move tool, and I will move my patch. I need to adjust my horizontal line as you can see just like that and using select and move tool I will move my patch definitely I need to rotate it for one more time and I will be using select and uh, rotate tool and I will rotate it just like that spend your time um, create beautiful and right composition don't rush just like that. And now I would like to add my third 3D object. I will add a second foot patch. Using a select and a rotate tool, I will rotate it. Using select and scale tool, I will scale size down. Just like that. And using select and move tool, I will move it. So something like that. Maybe I will move it just like, just like that. I like it a lot. Now I will select all three objects and I will switch to my material library. And again, here I have all default uh, materials. So I would like to add something shiny. Maybe, let's see, red plastic. Yes, I like it. As you can see, we have all reflection applied to our 3D object. All reflection depend on our uh, background image. And definitely I would like to adjust color for my material. I will click on base color and I will pick color out of my image. Just like that. Or any other color. Let's see, not this definitely. Oh, I like this. And I will adjust metallic slider, so I will make my 3D object more um, 
shiny just like that uh, one extra step actually two i will switch to my square bottle um, object i will expand my top i will click on a lead and i will change material for my bottles lead i will use probably um, green plastic just like that and same with um, safety ring safe um same material just like that i like it um now i will select my uh, bottle body just like that and here in my library i have my label designed for my client and I, I will click on this label and i will drag it on top of my uh, bottle and voila perfect i will reposition it just like that just look guys this is so perfect i don't need to adjust uh, pretty much anything everything is so good but i will um uh, move a metallic slider all the way to the uh, right so i applied a metallic metallic um, effect to my label as well and also i will bring down opacity of my uh, label just like that perfect i love it a lot and now I can do same with my um, patch. I will select my uh, patch object. I will click on my label and I will bring it on top of my patch. Now I can um, resize it. I can reposition it. I can rotate it. Perfect. And um, I will change um, few uh, parameters for my uh, label so I will slightly rotate it just like that I will uh, bring metallic slider all the way uh, to the right and I will bring down opacity just like that perfect I love it a lot and the last 3d object same I will rotate it rotate more I will resize it make it make it bigger just like that and I will bring down I will move metallic slider all the way to the right I will bring down opacity for my label and voila guys how perfect is it what i will do right now i would like to adjust my light i will um, deselect sunlight and also ground plane i can change rotation for my light maybe something let's see maybe something like that i like this also i can change intensity for my light i can make my light brighter or darker just like that and voila guys we are done right now i will render my project and i will finish my uh, project in adobe photoshop cc to render my project i will click on render i want a high quality psd and voila i will click on render and i will give um, some time to dimension cc to finish um, his rend its rendering and after my uh, dimension cc will finish my rendering um, we will continue working on our project in adobe photoshop cc thank you guys and i will see you in a few seconds okay guys now i'm in photoshop uh, dimension cc finish um, my rendering and now i will fix few details in my project i will uh, select my 3d layer I will move this layer, just slightly reposition it. I will apply a layer mask. Now I will switch to a simple brush tool with black color on it. I will paint out part of my a bottle, just like that. Take your time. If you paint it out um, more than you wanted, simply switch color of your brush from the black to white and you will paint back everything what you uh, didn't want to paint out. Beautiful apples. I love apples. And I love organic apples. 
just like that. Now I will do same with my patch. So I will apply a more um, uh, natural looking uh, touches to my patch, just like that. See, I painted out more than I wanted. So I will switch to um, a white color and I will paint it back. Just like that. Perfect. I like it. Uh, what I can do extra, I can apply, um, create a little shadow in here. So I will click on um, a background image. I will create a new layer. I will pick color out of my um, original um, image layer. Now I will switch to my simple brush tool. I will make my brush size bigger and I will um, create kind of a shadow just like that. Do not alert, we will fix it. Now I will bring down opacity for my shadow layer. I will apply a filter, a blue blur filter. You can use any blue filter you're more comfortable with. Just like that. And now I will move my shadow layer slightly up. Just like that. And I will create a new layer using um, a same uh, color, same brush. I will create an uh, extra shadow. A shadow is supposed to be darker directly under your uh, object. Just like that. And I will bring down opacity of this layer slightly just like that. Now we have natural looking bottle. Um, so guys, this is uh, what I wanted to share with you today. This is my workflow for my last client. We created a uh, composition uh, of 2D uh, and 3D uh, images together. We, um, I used my original image, my apples as my uh, background layer. And also I add um, uh, juice bottle and juice patches in uh, Dimension CC. I rendered my 3D objects in Dimension CC. I opened my um, rendering in Adobe Photoshop CC and I finished my composition in Adobe Photoshop CC. Thank you guys and I will see you later. Bye!